Hello there boys and girls and welcome to Ginty Bricks Railway and today I want to show off a lovely model that I kind of enjoyed and it's one of my very first models I actually created that set all this off and you'll be laughing your head off when I present you Toby the Tram Engine. Now let's take a look. Ta-da! Here's Toby and like I always ask, what do you think? Well, straight away you might ask, what is it with the blue side plates? Well, if you research the actual books, after Toby and the Toby the Tram Engine books, I think after that he's always been having blue side plates with um, a little bit more lighter I think it was lighter brown for his frames and his actual body part is all grey, no, brown. So it's just like, um, yeah, yeah, it's just like, uh, to be honest, to be honest, when I first did all this, these was all brown, everything was brown up here, and this was normally, originally was black. But then when I did my research and found that the actual Reverend Ornery um, and also up to the Christopher Andre books actually have him as the actual blue side plate. I thought That looks actually good to be honest. I would love to have this because it looks more presentable. Toby looks actually nice in blue So I actually went ahead and make a blue version even though I've got all the pieces for black and Yes, and also like I said all this wasn't dark orange, it used to be brown, but then I just changed it to dark orange because it's just like that's with the lighter brown that I could find at the time. But anyway, enough about that. Let me just tell you a few tricks and tips that I need on this. What you might not see, well, in this light you can see it, I use this uh, 1x2 modified um, grilled kind of pieces on their sides and just trying to replicate all that all over the whole train and as you see on the back the back would move most likely this is on an actual stud on the side construction the window this part and it's just like this oh there we go perfect lighting this have to be done on a stud on the side of construction because trying to have a 1x2 up is hard so this was my actual sort of, and also the actual dark orange frame to go around it looks more actual wooden effect as well so I love this and this is not the only stud on the side construction on this engine Toby's window on this occasion, if I take away the roof, I can actually pop out this little window and you just see here how the actual the actual gap for this is. So you've got one brick, one window with frames and of course you just go all the way there and this just sticks onto one little stud. So when I place it back in, it's just like whenever I take it out, sometimes you've got like a little angle and all that. So you have to move it in, put back on the roof because I've got more to show you before removing that roof again. Of course, I could have a brick built number seven here, should do it, but I um, haven't got the chance to do it yet. And also, what you might be wondering is how do I do the actual side, of the actual side plates and also cow catchers? Well, I will show you right now by just taking this one little piece. With just taking this one little piece, you can just see it's all on these modified. I don't know hinges. No, that's not the word. But you know what this piece is. It's one of these. And they are all. You can just see there's a all there. With 
a two by how many are there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Fourteen. A two by fourteen and also a one by fourteen up here. To make a three. So three by fourteen here. And also if I lift Toby, it's just like that's his primitive skirt. So you can just see how easy the wheels are. Actually, to be honest, the wheels are really easy to jump. Okay, I wasn't expecting that much to get off. So, hold on, let's say this side. Uh, you know what, I'm going to whip it off. So, Toby contains these small wheels because, of course, the wheels will not be shown. So, you don't really need to be so big. But then, um, the cow catchers are pretty much... Those hinge pieces that I show you just earlier, that's just slightly in blue. It's just like that, just there. And also you just got these blue um, normal bricks here. And then that's on its side. So these cow catchers are pretty much these little one by 2 um, grill cheese slope places. And just... I'm just peeling away now, and then you just got the buffers, normal buffers kind of effect. And let me just put it back on the actual side pot. And now we're gonna look inside Toby's cab, and of course, the roof goes off. First off, when I first built this, I actually have all the roof to be all smoothed out so. All this would have been like a 1x4 curve, and then this had to be like a 1x3. But then at the end it looks a bit ugly, so I went with all 1x3's curves, and just have the middle one. And the bell is the part that I like the most. Like, this is a black fez. Surprisingly, that was really more harder to find than the golden one. So, one stud, one fez. These are just the normal gears. But it's affected as well. So you've got one golden stud, one golden fez, one golden stud make the bell. And also this is just on the angle. So it's just like got two two by two one with a stud on top, one one by one tube, and also a flat pot. And that's just been angled to on the precise way. But anyway, like I was just saying, we're going into the cab. The cab is not much apart from the firebox. And, of course, the firebox is actually, can be really access to pull off. My mind just went black just then. And, but anyway, this is Toby's firebox. It's not 100% accurate or what it is. But this is what I built anyway, and I kind of like it to be honest. And this whole part is just to remind me which one's the front and which one's the back. So it's just like it works either way. If, but unfortunately, at this point of time, I did not know what an actual firebox inside the actual um, steam fans was. So, yep, yeah, this is mine. And this is just hold on by jumper plates. Well, one of those like mini figures. So what I'm gonna do is put that all back on. And yes, and that is my Toby. It's just um. Ooh, you know what? The one thing I forgot to mention is this part is meant to be dark orange, but it's not really important. But yes, as I was just saying, that is my Toby. He is 100% why I actually have made all my engines 8 studs wide because it would be impossible to do him in 6 studs wide or 7 studs wide. And it's just like, um, I don't know what else I can say about him. He's just lovely all by himself. And also, I think there could be a way to make him 2 studs shorter. But I'm not so fussed about that. He is just adorable on his own. And also, I never know why the TV series have never done the blue side plate Toby. 
because it looks more presentable. I think kids would love it and all that. But anyway, this is my Toby. The face might be a bit small compared to Thomas or Percy, but he, yeah, I, there's there's no way to make it bigger without making the whole actual engine more taller and all that. But apart from that, that is my Toby, and see you soon. Whoa, 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 hold on, hold on, before you click away, I know I say goodbye, but before you do, I want to say thank you very much for actually watching one of my videos. It does actually mean a lot to me to know that you actually like my videos and all that. And for that, I would actually turn a favour and by saying, please um, like, subscribe, comment, and hit the bell button, whatever you want to do. Because I don't want you lot to miss any more of my awesome videos. Because you never know, I might be back up here next week or a month later. And I don't want to see you missing one of my videos. And also, maybe you just don't like my videos. And if you do, please dislike it. Or please comment down below what you didn't like, to be honest. Apart from that though, this time I'm actually going to say goodbye. So, from Ginty Bricks Railway. See you soon and goodbye. Cheerio!